What's up? Tragic Visions back with another commentary. Today is the NFL Draft starting in a couple more hours. And uh, I thought I would make a video saying my thoughts on it. So the NFL Draft. This morning, I was watching SportsCenter. And it was, it was just boring because everybody said, oh, this team could trade back, this team could trade up. And it was it was just incre incredibly boring. They didn't have anything to talk about, really, because they had a pretty good idea of what the top five, top six players were going to be. The top six players are Andrew Luck, Robert Griffin III, Claiborne, Khalil, Trent Richardson, and Blackman. The first two picks are pretty much guaranteed Andrew Luck and Robert Griffin III. And there's a lot of speculation on what the Vikings are going to do with the third pick. And what the Vikings are going to do is pretty much just based on what the Buccaneers want to do. If the Buccaneers want to move up and take Trent Richardson ahead of the Browns, then the Vikings fall back, get an extra, say, third round pick out of the deal, and they still get Khalil with the fifth overall. But if the Buccaneers are okay with taking Claiborne fifth overall, then Vikings stick at the third position and take Khalil with that. So it's pretty much if the Buccaneers want Trent Richardson, Vikings get an extra third round pick pretty much for nothing. Another big discussion they've been talking about for weeks, months now, is who's going to be better, Andrew Luck or RG3? Luck is the more prototype quarterback, right height, everything, Peyton Manning-like. RG3, an athletic deep throwing quarterback a Donovan McNabb Michael Vick type uh, combination there who's going to have the better first year I think it's pretty obvious that it's going to be RG3 uh, Andrew Luck's going to have pretty much nobody around him the offensive line's not that great he lost Jeff Saturday uh, all he really has is Reggie Wayne no tight ends or anything like that no running game I don't see the Colts winning more than five games this year. They, they're not going to show much improvement. Um, hell, they might they might go 0-16, and there's a good chance of that. I don't see Andrew Luck carrying this team. Their defense is just as bad as last year. On the offensive side of the ball, they lost Pierre Garçon, Dallas Clark, Jeff Saturday. So there isn't much to look forward to with Andrew Luck's first season. They're going to have to do a lot of work in the next upcoming drafts and also in free agency. RG3's first season, don't see anything like Cam Newton going on in the future. The Redskins aren't that built in offensively. They did pick up Pierre Garçon, and they have Chris Cooley and Fred Davis, but they just don't have what the Panthers have. And the whole team together should finish around 6-10, and 10, maybe 7-9. and nine. Uh, see a rough start for RG3 in the beginning, but overall not a terrible season for RG3. Now looking at the perspective of their whole career, uh, I don't see Luck or RG3 going to the Hall of Fame. Uh, like in one of my previous videos, don't like their mentality that they take. Um, RG3 is a LeBron type guy. He's on Twitter pretty constantly. I saw a tweet this morning. Uh, told everybody he was going to a children's hospital. That's just not something you say to the world. That's just like, uh, look at me. I'm doing doing something great for the community. You don't you don't tell people that. You got to keep it modest. And Andrew Luck, I saw him a couple times talking to the media. He just seems nervous. Uh, doesn't feel doesn't look very comfortable. The one guy that I do see having a great chance of making it to the Hall of Fame out of the top six would have to be Trent Richardson. He's got the mentality and he's just a, a beast. If you ever watched, watched him in Alabama, he's, he goes hard. That was my opinion on the NFL draft. And if you're wondering who I hope the Steelers take, I do like uh, what they are projected to take, which is the inside linebacker from Alabama. Should go great, lost James Ferrier this year. I have decided to rename this series Tragic's Vision. So that's all I got about the draft. If you liked what I said or you want to contradict what I said, 
leave a comment like subscribe and stay tuned i got another video coming up in a day or two about the nba playoff so this has been another episode of tragic's vision peace